What's up everybody, my name is Daryl, and today I'm gonna show you how you can install Google Analytics onto your WordPress website. Now Google Analytics gives you a lot of information, like where your traffic is coming from, how long they're on your website, what interest they are, what gender, etc. So in this tutorial, I will show you how you can install it onto your WordPress website. So the first thing you wanna do is going over to Google, just like this, and type in Google Analytics, just like that. And you're gonna click on this first link. Now, depending if you already have a Gmail account or if you're already associated with one, you'll be brought to a page that looks something like this, or you'll be brought to a page that looks something like this depending on your browser history, okay? So over here, if you have a Gmail account, you can go ahead and just sign in, and you'll be brought to a page that looks just like this. Now, you must have a Gmail account in order for this to work. If not, you can create one, it's totally free. So over here, I'm gonna click on sign up and it's gonna ask us for some information. And don't worry, I will put these links in the description for you, so if you can't find it, I will put it in the description. So go ahead and give your account a name, so I'm just gonna put in Daryl's website, and website name, I'll put Daryl, and go ahead and put in the URL right here. So I'm gonna put in uh, my URL right here, so secretmarkets.site. It's just a dummy website, you know, it's just a, like a regular testing website. So right here, the industry category, I'm gonna go ahead and say computers and electronics, the time zone. Now you can actually give them some data sharing settings. Uh, if you want to do that, you're more than welcome. If not, you can uncheck them or whatever you would like to do. So I'm gonna click on get tracking ID. And right here, it's supposed to have this uh, terms of agreement, but probably, uh, I don't know why it's not showing up, but I'm just gonna click on I accept. Usually it'll give you a bunch of terms, etc. So I'm gonna click on I accept. Alrighty. And then we're brought to a page that looks something like this right here. And don't worry. It's very simple. All we need to do is actually just take this right here, this tracking ID, and copy this onto a plugin that we're going to install. All right, so we're gonna go back to our website right here and go to our dashboard. And we're going to install a plugin because there's other ways to do it where you can take all this piece of script, but uh, that's you know a difficult way. This way is much easier. So go to plugins and go to add new. And there are a lot of type of Google Analytics plugins. You know, they have quite a bit. So right here, I'm gonna type in Google Analytics right here. And they have quite a few, you know, they do have quite a bunch. Some of these are pretty good. Uh, I know this one right here works pretty well, so we're gonna install this one right here. So it's by Kevin Sylvester. So I'm gonna click on install now. And it's installing. All right, and now I'm gonna click on activate. Okay, so it installed. Now in order to find it, I believe it's under settings and then go to Google Analytics right there. All right, now this web property ID, all you need to do is just go ahead and paste that same code in right there, and you're done, <laughs> that simple. So click on save. Now your website is linked with Google Analytics. So now when you go back to your analytics right here, now it does take some time, so you're gonna see some information start to come up right here. Right here, it lets us know that um, you know it's working. So uh, really quickly, we can actually go to home right here and check it out. So they have all these like, you know, uh, information, like, you know, helpful tips and everything like that. But uh, right here under Daryl, we can click on all website data. So this is basically your dashboard. And remember, they have like cool little, you know, tips and tricks and stuff you can do. But really quickly, you know, this is the demographics. So this will show you the uh, age and gender of who's coming to your website. Interests. Now this is very important. In fact, I have an upcoming tutorial on YouTube advertising, which you will really need this information. So this will give you something like who is interested in what that will come to your website. So people that are interested in web technology or come to your website, it'll list categories. So you wanna go ahead and make sure that all these are enabled right here. In market segments, same thing. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and make sure that these are all enabled. And you'll learn more about this when you get visitors by what I say is people who are interested in. So like I said, over here, uh, overview, you might see like uh, movie junkies or technophiles or um, whoever. There are so many different types, business, people, education, employment. There are thousands of them. So uh, as you uh, create this, you'll see that more come. Right here, you have geo. And this is, you know, the language of what they're speaking. Also the location, behavior. Now behavior is actually pretty cool. It shows you basically uh, where your drop-off rates are, what people are doing versus people who have brand new to the website or people who continually come back. Over here, we have technology. It shows you the browser. It gives you like everything you can possibly imagine. 
So I have a Google Analytics account, and I'll give you guys a quick little uh, tour of my Google Analytics account to show you guys a little bit more about uh, what it has to offer. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my account. All right, now I'm going to go over here to Google Analytics, just like this, and I'm going to go to show you guys my account right, really quick. All right, so I have a bunch of websites right here. So this is my website. So what I meant earlier about the interest and behavior and all that stuff. So if I go over here to interest and go to overview, you're going to see that people are, all these are, you know, categories of people who are interested in my product. And you guys will need this a little bit later as you become digital marketers, because this will really help control who to market to. Okay. And also for something like behavior, we can see, you know, new versus returning. We can go ahead and see, you know, a new visitor does this right here. We're basically, they're, you know, checking our website out. Uh, new visitors have a relatively lower bounce rate. So what a bounce rate is, it's basically saying they come to a website and they leave. So the lower the bounce rate, usually the better. Right here, it tells us how many pages they're viewing. Right here, it tells us the average session duration, et cetera. So another really one is uh, a good one is, uh, I believe it's user flow. Now user flow is actually very important because it sort of helps you guys understand the behavior of people. So right here, you're going to see that this is my homepage. You know, I have around a 29% drop rate. So that means people will go to my homepage and then they leave. So 29% of people do that right here. You can see I have another uh, a page with the drop rates. This page right here, best WordPress themes. I have around a 47 to 6% drop rate. Now, if you have a page that has like a dramatically high drop off rate, that's kind of indicating to you, maybe you should improve that page. So you can start learning a little bit about your, you know, your traffic what they're doing, and it will also help you improve your website because I know you think that your website's perfect. You're thinking, my website is best. I don't care what anybody says. People will determine otherwise. Let the uh, let the market determine that. So if you have a website, like my, right here, my blog, you know, I have a very good drop-off rate right there. You know, 5% people are reading my content from here on my blog. They're actually going to my tutorials after they read about it. 20% of them stay for my tutorials, 80% leave. But they actually might be going to YouTube because I have a YouTube channel. So, I mean, you guys are watching this from YouTube. So uh, you guys know a little bit about my uh, channel. So you guys can actually go through a lot of these right here and uh, check these out. These are very crucial information. And later on the road, you will learn that, um, you know, Google Analytics, you'll basically base your marketing campaigns off Google Analytics. I base my marketing campaigns off Google Analytics. So it's very important. In fact, let's go on to the age right here. So the age right here, we can all see that people between the ages of 25 to 34 are the most interested in my content. They have a relatively low bounce rates. Um, so if you're ever marketing on Facebook advertising or something, maybe you can say, okay, maybe I should market between the ages of 25 to 34, et cetera, gender. Now in my niche, I generally have more men. So I have around, uh, you know, 78% men coming to my website. And then I have around 21% females coming to my website. So there's a lot you can learn from analytics guys. You know, it actually will help you improve your websites, maybe your landing page. If you have a very high bounce rate for your landing page, maybe it's time that, you know, you change your landing page, <laughs> you know? So uh, that's about it guys for Google Analytics. Uh, it's installed, so it's a, it's a relatively easy plugin to install it with. And then from here, you can go ahead and view all sorts of really cool stuff about your website. So uh, if this tutorial was helpful, go ahead and give it a like and a subscribe and I will see you all later. Oh, 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 oh,